Good? Okay, so we already know, morning, we already know the um, flying triangle from the uh, Uchimata, the failed Uchimata, that's what we learned last week. So he has an underhook, I have an overhook, okay? So I step in, I do the wizard kick, I get his hand to the mat, his hand goes to the mat, hand to the back of the head, leg over the head, try to stay up for me, yep. Switch hands, plant the hand, swing down to here. Remember that? So this is basically the same move, but a different entry. This time we're gonna do an entry from a single leg. So he's got my leg up, so he's down on my leg. All right, both arms around the leg, yep, okay. So this is a standard single leg position that we'll usually find ourselves in, right? He's got my leg elevated, head to the inside, etc. So I'm gonna fight in for this wizard, okay? Which is this overhook here, and I wanna swim my foot out to the outside, okay? Once I get my foot out to the outside, I'm gonna mule kick my leg, pull up with my arm. I wanna get control of this wrist here just to pull on it, okay? Boom. That's gonna break the grip. He's gonna have his hand high up on my back, so he's gonna have an underhook now, and I'm gonna have an overhook, okay? This is basically the same positioning that we had before, all right? Now I'm gonna go to the head, okay? I'm gonna kick my leg over, take this hand off the back. I wanna make sure I'm heavy, okay? See how I put my weight on him, that's keeping that hand down? If I don't have my weight on him and that hand's not down, when I go to swing this leg around, he's gonna block the leg, okay? So I'm heavy. He's carrying my weight, all right? That's a mistake I see a lot of people making. Then I switch my hands, okay? Plant this hand, swing down, okay? I wanna make sure as I'm swinging down, I'm aiming for the outside of his arm, okay? Foot to the bicep come across, get in the triangle danger, and then we know our finishing mechanics from there, right? Huh? So foot on the inside, right? I'll show you what not to do. So it gets in on my leg, okay? I whizzer, sorry, <laughs> twice I punched you in the face. I'm sorry, buddy. So we get the whizzer, in a real match though, fucking whatever. We get to here with mule kick to break the lock. He's gonna put his arm up in my back, okay? So you wanna make sure that you feel this position here. If his arm isn't all the way up over my back when I go to kick, his arm won't be there. So we're here, hand to the head to keep my weight on, okay? Kick the leg over, heavy, right? Pull this arm out, head to the head, hand to the head. Now what I was saying is, I don't want this foot to be inside here. I want it to be outside. So for example, if I come to here, okay? Now look, my foot's trapped. He can put his hand on it, step to pass, etc. right? So to prevent that from happening, as I swing around, I'm aiming here, all right? I'm aiming to the outside of the bicep. And then when I come around, triangle, all right? Arm across, posture, shin, change the lock, okay? All right. One more time. Do you wanna see it? No. No? Okay, we'll do the other side, if my leg will allow me. So it gets in on the single leg. Okay, I get into the wizard without punching him, hopefully. Controlling the head, swimming the leg out, wizard the leg up, he gets that high on my back, yep. Stepping over, heavy, pull the arm out, switch, switch, and then as I go down, aim to the outside, cross the triangle, arm across, head, shin, adjust, lock it up, okay? So very similar to what we've already done, you should understand two thirds of that, because we've been doing it for two weeks. It's just the entry, we're starting from the single leg, your wizard kicking out, Okay, and then it's all the same from there basically. Okay, any questions? No? Partner up. One, two, three.